Comedy Theater Presents. Comedy Theater Presents. The Expulsion of Adam and Eve from Heaven According to the Devil. By Bedridden. Characters. Adam. Eve. The Devil. The Angels. A Few Demons. Act 1. Scene 1. The shores of the Lake of Heaven. With every wave, the lake hits the beach with its pearls. Angels come accompanied by music. First Angel. God created the man in one day. But it took him longer to create the woman. A huge rosebud with golden threads hangs from the sky. Second Angel, calling to the rosebud. Come on, bud. Open up and show us your heart. The rose of heaven blooms leaf by leaf. Eve appears among the tools that surround her. She looks at herself through the mirror in her hand. Third Angel. That's the woman. She appears before us for the first time in her newly created form. Oh, she's like an angel. The devil from behind where he's hiding. You think so? I guess we'll see. Eve, inside the rose, looking at herself in the mirror in her hand. Dear angels, tell me the truth. How do I look? Not bad, we think. Then why did I not read anything good in Adam's eyes? What happened? The heavens open. Two archangels descend. First archangel. Let me explain what happened, holy angels. God had never worked so hard to create the woman. When he finally finished his work, the angels came into the room of creation and presented their gifts to her one by one. Gabriel came first and left a burning star where he kissed her on the forehead. Azrael wished a joy by placing a crown on her head. Each angel praised her beauty in a different way. But the devil did not praise her. He came with a handful of pearls and placed earrings in her ears. Then he secretly left a mirror by her bedside. In fact, God wondered what she would say. The woman looked at herself in the mirror for a long, long time, examining every part of herself, and only then did she feel the need to look at Adam, and that's when she met his resentful gaze. They had their first fight before God. Now they are at odds. Then let us go and call all the inhabitants of paradise to help us reconcile them. The angels leave. Two archangels remain. Satan comes walking on the lake behind them. First archangel, caressing Eve. Oh, Eve, it is my duty to warn you of a danger. Beware of the devil. Stay away from him. You saw how he tricked you at the very first moment of your creation. He deceived you with a gift. Now he will do his best to drive a wedge between you and Adam. So don't accept anything from him. Eve immediately hides the mirror in the rosebud. Wow, if he's so dangerous, why doesn't God throw him out of heaven? Why does he leave us alone with him? Second Archangel... Satan, in spite of his great sin, knows how to get along with God. So he does not cast him out of heaven, thinking he might be useful some day. Once an angel flying in the heavens, God has now condemned him to crawl on the ground. Is that not punishment enough? But somehow this reptile managed to get up onto legs. That's how cunning he is. And he's just as cute Every day he entertains us with a new miracle. To be honest, a heaven without a devil would be very boring. Look how he's walking on the lake now. Isn't that amazing? I wonder how he manages not to sink. But maybe it shouldn't come as a surprise. After all, that despicable creature is scheming and managing to keep himself from being cast out of heaven. That must be another miracle. As the archangels ascend to heaven, a curtain is lifted. Satan descends, this time sitting on a throne. On his head is a crown of thorns. As soon as he reaches the ground, he immediately gets up from his throne and falls before Eve. Devil, prostrating. Oh, eternal wonder. I did not prostrate myself before Adam when he was made. For I was waiting for you to be created. Here I prostrate myself before you. 
O divine woman. After prostrating himself several times before Eve, Satan throws his throne at her feet as if it were a simple matter. Devil, enthusiastically. I wanted to offer myself to you, but now I see that is not enough. Here, my throne is yours. Eve is excited, pretending not to know the devil. Who are you? Devil, kneeling before Eve, clasping his hands in prayer. I am the tempter, and the savior. I am your slave and your master. I am the holy devil. Eve turns around. I've never seen you before. What do you want from me? Let me serve you, as angels serve God, O holy virgin. O holy virgin. Let me serve you, as angels serve God, o holy virgin. End of the first episode. The play, The Expulsion of Adam and Eve from Heaven According to the Devil, is based on the first chapter of Bedretton's novel of the same name. Bedretton Shimshek's ebooks are available from all ebook retailers. Subscribe to the Comedy Theater Podcast to hear more episodes of Bedretton's Comedy Plays.